What's happening, crypto fam? Happy, happy Tuesday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. Um, this morning, I want to talk about Wirex and Flare Token, right? Flare there drops back. Get your Love for Crypto mug on Redbubble. Link in the description. <laughs> Storage fees and Wirex. You got people hella hungry, man. Hella hungry. I, I I have a feeling that some people might have even read this like I did back in the day. Only got halfway through it and figured, you know what? Five and a month. And I'm probably going to transact anyway, so it'll never hit me. And if it does, it's only a fiver. <sighs> Should have kept reading. Should have kept reading. I want to read this storage fee section within the Wirex terms and conditions. It's not easy to find. I'm not going to lie. You can skim over it and skim past it relatively fucking easy. Um, I'm not here to say... I mean, I'm taking a Vitzvin stand. I'm not here to, to judge or shit on anyone else's business model or anything like that. I am mainly here now to make people aware that this is happening. If you've got crypto on Wirex and you haven't used Wirex since last year, you need to go and check your Wirex. You really do. If you don't transact using the Wirex services for nine months... Or up to 18 months. <clears throat> we'll charge you a storage fee. To store your balances with us. Transacting includes withdrawal, deposit, exchange or transfer. We'll provide you with 30 days notice by email. Before we begin charging the storage fee. A lot of people's missing emails. They give you 30. You should have had 30 days notice off the emails. The only shit thing is, if it came in the spam, it's going to have been deleted in the last 30 days. <sighs> the storage fee only applies if you have balances with us. No storage fee will apply if you do not hold any funds on your Wirex account. If you are subject to the storage fee... Just transact with the Wirex services and we'll stop charging you the fee from the first business day after you begin transacting a day. For fiat balances, here's where the, 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 the differs now for fiat balances and for the for the time duration. Because I remember back in the day reading these two little paragraphs here and I didn't fucking carry on. And I know I didn't fucking carry on. Because I never read the day thing, the daily charge. I never read the daily charge. And I know a lot of people have never read the daily charge. So for fiat balances, the storage fee will be charged at a rate of pounds, dollars, euros of five per month. And per balance at the current prevailing exchange rate. So it's a five up a month in your local currency. The crypto balances... The storage fee will be charged at a balance rate of 0.20% of account balance monthly or a minimum. A minimum of £5 per month. So if 0.20% of your monthly balance goes over £5 per month, you will pay over £5 per month. If 0.20% of your crypto is less than a fiver, five dollars, five euros, five pounds. If it's less than a fiver, you will pay a fiver a month. If 0.20% is six pound fifty, or six euros fifty, or six dollars fifty, you will pay that per month. Only until 18 months. This is the bit I didn't read now. If you don't transact with us for 18 months or longer, in fact, now nah, I fucking read this bit again. The storage fee rate of five pound per month, five pound dollars euros per month. I knew that per balance at the current prevailing exchange rate. I knew that. I knew it was five pound per month. This last bit is what I didn't know. For crypto balances, the storage fee will be charged per 
balance. Per balance. I want you to be aware you've got a thousand XRP, a thousand XLM, a thousand per balance. At a rate of not. 0.003 BTC or equivalent per crypto asset. Now that's a thousandth of a Bitcoin, and it, it but three thousandth of a Bitcoin, but it, it mounts up daily, mate. Daily. It's going to be 0.003 BTC or equivalent per crypto asset account per day. When your account is dormant for 18 months or longer, <clears throat> your crypto balances may also be used in our pooled liquidity accounts. But this won't affect your balance. Just transact with us to make your account active again. So, first up, disclosure. They're not breaking the law. They've not scammed anyone. They've not robbed anyone per se. But you could say, why are you robbing bastards? I am in shock about how much XRP I've seen some people lose. I'm not fucking joking. Um... Let me just get down to this. Let me just get down to this. Mm -hmm. it, people go, I can't wait to get to Flare. The Flare, Flare coins like literally taking up. Polydex is not the same thing, different rules apply. Oh, no. who cares? It's not real price. I would pump the price too if I was trading with Monopoly money. I owe you, dickhead. Right, let, let, let's finish the Wirex shit. Finish the Wirex. I need to just... Jesus, wet, bruh. How far down... How many times have we been tweeted? I mean, my guy here has lost $4,500 in a month. It's 6,300 XRP. Boo's nephew had theirs taken off. Um, I mean... I want, the main takeaway from this is I want people to legitimately go and check the Wirex. People who knew people who have Wirex, if you told anyone to go and use Wirex. Because I don't want people... There's a guy on Twitter there. It was him who told his mate to go to Wirex. He recommended Wirex for him. Probably two years ago. And then six months later, or three months later, he probably said, you want to put it on a ledger, you know. And just left it. Two years later, his mate's like, bro, you know that fucking Wirex took me XRP? He's like, what are you talking about? Do you want to put it on the ledger like I said? Nah, I couldn't really be arsed. I just thought it'd be all right on Wirex. I did some fucking storage fees, had me. It's really fucking bad. It looks really bad on Wirex. I can't comfortably recommend Wirex anymore without stressing uh, uh, and making people aware um, of that storage fee. If you are hodling, if you are holding your crypto long term, do not put it on Wirex. You can buy some and don't look at it till 2023. It won't fucking be there. I'm going to buy some crypto and just leave it there till 2025. Yeah, fair enough. Don't do that on Wirex because it won't fucking be there. <laughs> Cold. Cold storage, guys, you need to get on your cold storage, get it on a ledger, get it on Zoom, um, whatever wallet has to go on, XRP, BTC, Ethereum, I don't care what you've got on there. If you are not using the Wirex card and transacting at least once a month on Wirex, put a fiver on a month from your bank and you're good. Just buy an extra fiver of coins a month, five pounds, ten, ten off, ten is the minimum, minute. Put a tenner on a month and it 
you don't even get charged the fiver. Do nothing, be charged five pound. Spend ten pound, and you've invested ten pounds. You haven't lost five pounds to a storage fee. You invested ten. It's a shame you can't just put a five pound in. Do you know what I mean? Put a tenner in every other month. And it's five pound a month that the storage fee would cost you anyway, but because you're actually just feeding them the five quid a month, you're actually transacting on the network and you're gaining an investment. Yeah. Seriously, beware. Wirex, I mean. Unbelievable. So, let's have a look at Flair. Everyone's buzzing. It was like 1.24 on BitTrue. Mate, it hit 190s. It's like 150s now. In other news, the FLR IOUs on BitTrue hit 190s. Oh, it is absolutely beautiful. It is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, Martin. Martin Valk. <laughs> Seen your tweet there, lad. Oh, yes, Mr. Valk. Fantastic news. Will be nice when the network goes live. Most exchanges support it. Volume kicks up and we see what the ecosystem looks like. My jaw dropped when I saw it today. It took bit true forever to verify my account and I wanted to buy at 30 cents. You wanted to buy FLR at 30 cents? Well, Mufasa Spook, I'm sorry, mate. You should have joined the airdrop, bro. We didn't pay shit for them. This is the bin now, isn't it? Said to people, got on the IOUs, buy them if you ain't been able to buy them. If you've not been able to get on the airdrop, go and get on the IOUs. We said this. We said this months ago. Months ago. And everyone was like, mm, mm. Oh, my staff is feeling it now. Unlucky, bro. Unlucky, bro. Um, shit. Waiting for the dip. It might. Be. I mean, it's dip now. You're waiting for a dip from 124. It went to 190. It's now dipped to 150. People need to start dollar cost averaging, right? If my staff are there on, on Twitter fucking 13 hours ago, 13, 13, Martin's 13 hours ago. And if he'd, have, if he'd have just put the DC, if he'd have just started dollar cost averaging in at 124, he'd have maybe gone in at 124, 130s, 140s, 160s, maybe even 180s, 190s, getting FOMO in. And then it's come back down to 150s, but he's, he would be 150s anyway, because depending on how much he bought at 125 and how much he bought at 190s, he's pretty much going to be in the middle of them anyway, you know. Average it out. Come on, not, not doing it exact, but. People are sleeping on it, is basically my point. You're sleeping, you sleeping on NFTs. I said just today in the video, everyone's too, too up their own ass about this SEC shit. And what banks are doing, and what these are doing, and what they're doing, and <laughs> they're not concentrating on what they're they themselves are supposed to be fucking doing. People just become fucking parrots, me <laughs> like sprouting other people's opinions because it's fucking stuck with them that much. <laughs> Waiting for the beautiful dip. Getting into flare now is like getting into Ethereum below ten dollars. Oh, I fucking heard that. It's still thirty-one cents at Polynex. 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 This is crazy. Different rules apply. I don't understand it. Bitter, you get a thousand. Bitter, you get a hundred percent of the coin on Polynet. Same as initial disbursement. No, 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 no. Bitter only gave to fifteen percent drop as IOUs. They gave them as IOUs. I received them as IOUs. I sold them as IOUs. I sold six hundred flare 
when they was barely worth $100. I had to pay a fucking phone bill. But I sold them. I sold them. And what? 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 We've got 14,000 of them coming. Chill your beans, bruh. We spent a few. We needed the money. Which you think, what, what are nest eggs for? Rainy days. Well, it started fucking raining. All right. <laughs> but... <laughs> We received the 15% on BitTrue for IOUs. I sold them, some didn't. Um, it's legitimately the pressure on the platform, isn't it? It's the pressure on the platform, the volume. I mean, I, I'm with block, Blockchain Boomer here. Fantastic, but I'd expect some extreme volatility and even a large correction when the main net goes live. Extreme volatility, we're seeing it from 90 to 190 yesterday. Like, fucking that, bro. The bad out of one fiddies. People didn't even get time to let it go to 190 before they started buzzing the little penises off. The buzzing by 124, it had barely started moving, bro. <laughs> <It had> barely... <laughs> Look, I bought some FLR, but I have to assume when the market opens and the floodgates come in that the price will drop suddenly, but won't take too long to climb to $3 or maybe even 5 Flair's going to melt faces. XRPCT, mate, like, it depends on the pressure. Everyone's expecting everyone else to sell at a profit at that point. A lot of us are waiting to just... Go and stake it on the Flare Network, mate. So I don't know where all this big queue of fucking Flare buyers is going to be able to buy it from. Because nearly everyone I know actually can't wait. To... They're going to sell a little bit because it's free money. Why wouldn't you? But most of them can't wait to see what staking opportunities come on the Flare Network and Flare Finance. That's going to end up locked up. It's going to end up locked up. You'd be able to borrow an issue against it and stuff like that, but... They ain't going to be on no order books, them Flare, them Spark. They will be on the Flare Network, staked. Uh, it's going to be extremely interesting to see how that pans out. Oh, it's six. Everyone's buzzing. Has anyone received any of their Flare tokens from the airdrop? Anyone at all? Or even an email? Well, XRP nuts. The actual first 15% drop is in Q2. All we can do with that is know for a fact that Q2 ends at the end of June. So if we're getting the 15% at some point during Q2, we can say with confidence that you will have that 15% by the end of June. Anything beyond that is speculation at this point. But we've been told at some point during Q2, you'll get 15% of the airdrop. So before June, expect 15%. Anyone who's put 10k XRP against a flare airdrop, then we'll be looking at 1,500 flare being dropped in the next few months. 1,500 flare at 150 per flare. <laughs> Free money, mate. Free value, baby. <laughs> I've checked my mailbox every day for the last three months. No coins. You won't get the airdrop until the network goes live, which is towards the end of Q2 as of now. Thank you. In fact, we get back on there. Who was that? XRP researcher, XRP investor. Thanks for that tweet, tweet. I knew it was Q2, but it's nice to get clarity that other people know the same. It gives you confidence that the information you received was correct. <laughs> Oh, bruh, how is this the, how real is this price? How real is this price? How real is any price on any exchange, bruh? People need to chiggity check what the actual IOUs are, right? Martin Valk, I fucking love you, mate. Define real. It's as real as it gets for an FLR I IOU. However... If you're wondering about the price of FLR after launch, then in that case, we have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. Martin, I fucking love you. To the point, we don't know. These are IOUs, trade. We don't know. I'll tell you what will happen, right? What happens when Flare goes live? I'll fucking tell you what happens. 
Yeah. If there's more buying pressure, the price goes up. If there's more selling pressure, the price goes down. Done. That's what will happen. If it's balanced pressure, you'll see correlation and, and consolidation and sideways action. <laughs> However you want to say it, but you're going to see that. How do you see it on trading view? You can't. It's an hour you're on Bitro. You don't have to create an account. It's got a Bitro exchange. USDT search for FLR. Well done, Martin. And Martin's giving up. Well, for Crypto Cup, Red Bubble. Hey, hey. I know what the exchange is. I'm referring to the chart that you posted. It shows it on trading view. Interesting. Is he on trading view there? He's not in trading view there. Valk is there. Martin. Martin. My mate Martin. That's fucking disappeared. Twitter at times is great. And then at other times it's fucking dog. I can't even find stuff. I've literally only just read. <laughs> I've just read it. Just looked at it and now it's gone. It's disappeared into the abyss. People are really, really trying to like shut this shit down as in it's not real. How can it not be real? The, the trading. So, not cryptic, not riptic, no, no. Tr I don't, what, I don't know how I'm supposed to say that, bro. Compared it with the IOU on. Polynex today, a props divided by four. It's all a gamble by now. I don't gamble. We just need to wait on the release of the network to define the exact price of FLR. <sighs> That's a fucking shame you can't send them from there a bit, you innit, bruh? Damn, I'd be li I'd fucking, I'd move all my zips there right fucking now, buy for FLR at what, 30 cents? Whack it over to Bitru, sell it at times four. Back into zips and let's go again, baby. <laughs> how many times? Martin, if you watched this morning, mate, um, Polynex is not the same thing, different rules apply. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I'm extremely interested. Um, who cares? It's not a real price. I would pump the price too. It's not a real price. Was it? Oh, there's people selling the flare right now and getting one dollar twenty-five, one dollar fifty, one dollar it. And you're telling me that you're trying to tell them. You, you need to bear in mind here now, you've got, someone's got a 100 FLR, they've just sold them for $120. And you're trying to tell that person that's not a real price. Tumbleweed and... Whew. You're talking out your ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry to be the one to break it to you. But you're talking... I, it's like you can't even control it. I know I can't at times, but at least I try and talk some sense. It's re if you go on a platform and you pay a price. It it, it was real, mate. <laughs> I don't know what other perspective we can take there. If I want to sell you this this for a quid, and you buy it for a quid, that price was real. Trust me. Trust me, the price was real. It's not fake. It's not going to go to two quid next week. It was a quid. I want, I want the pen for a quid. There's your fucking pen. I've got my pound. The price is real. The price is real. Jesus wept. Who cares? It's not a real price. I mean... <sighs> <laughs> Fake Tesla follows me. Feel honoured. 
You check your mailbox every three months, uh, every day for the past three months and no coins. Um, try checking your wallet. They're not going to email you your fucking coins. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. It says we'll email you about the drop. <laughs> but they ain't emailing you coins, man. I've checked my emails and still no coins. <laughs> Check your wallet. Do you know, where's my fucking... Do you know what? Can't find that fucking email. Where's that, where's that fucking email? Of, of um, thingy, Sue. Stop fucking e I can't find my email with my coins for some reason. I've got my coins, but there's no fucking email there. But I'll just check my email account and see if my coins are there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm in a I'm in a banter mood, you might be able to tell. <laughs> getting on getting into FLR now is like getting into XRP at more than three dollars. I honestly think XRP would be doing the same as FLR at the moment. I think XRP would be over a dollar now if it weren't for the SEC and the Americans being locked out. People need to understand the Americans, most Americans are now locked out of XRP. If it begins to move the same as Flair is, they can't buy it. You can't buy it. Some can, willing to do the VPN and all that, but some just literally don't know how to do that. They don't know how to do it. And they haven't got the time or the patience to sit there and learn how to do it. And some of them are too scared to even do it for fear of being caught and prosecuted and whatnot. It's super. I think people will pour a lot of gains from other coins into Flair for obvious reasons. And some people will think that people are going to put the, the gains from Flair into other coins. Some people will be doing it. Listen, make no mistake. Trust me. People got 15... They got the 15% on BitTrue. And it's exactly what people have been doing on BitTrue. And it's exactly why the price has gone to where it's gone. I've been flogging it. And selling profits. To get into lower cap coins. And there's people who missed the flare airdrop. Who FOMOing in at a dollar. And a dollar twenty. And 150. Because the shit's scared of missing out and it's five dollars next week. It's FOMO, mate, and it's real shit. It's a real mate. <laughs> Someone's just bought it and they try to tell them it's not a real Oh, that price is fake though. I don't I don't I understand you've just paid it, but it's fake. But they can. <sighs> Check your Wirex if you haven't for a while, yeah? Check your flare if you've got it um, on your bit true and that. You might want to sell a little bit in some profit, but it's only 15% of it. It will be more um, coming over the next, was it 35 months? So up to, up to 2023, we're going to be packing the flare. We're going to be getting it dropped to us here, there and everywhere. It's exciting times. If you need to go and pay some bills, go and flog a little bit and... Um, Go to Twitter and tell everyone how the price was real because you sold it and that's what you got. <laughs> you know the dance, man. Invest in the internet of value. Invest in yourself. Turn hobbies into revenue. Live long and oddly all till you're ready to let it go. Yeah. Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. Enjoy the rest of your week. We've got a Snyder Cut on Thursday. I'm going to fix my PC today. Live stream soon after this PC sorted out. I'm telling y'all, we're going to get on it. Right, and I can't wait to show you some of these games and that. I need, need a graphics card and shit, but let me fix a PC. I've got a few things to do this week, and then we are on it like a car bonnet. Can't wait for summer. Um, stay tuned for some DLT con news as well. If it ain't this year, it will definitely be back on next year. We love crypto. I mean, we love FLR. We don't love Wirex and the storage thing, but we love you. So take care. Peace out and I'll...